one do you think it could be? I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't order anything. Well, yeah, obviously. <sighs> you think one of us should go check what it is? I'm not going. I don't want to go either. Yeah, okay, we both don't want to go. Yeah, I know, don't look at this, this is a scary box. It's a very scary box, okay. Um, my house, my rules. You go. Fine. Good luck, shut up. Careful, careful. What is it? I don't know. It doesn't feel evil. It says do not open. All right. So I, like, oh, I gotta okay. open it. It's a box? I guess so. That was a really nice box. It's a really nice box. Who would have dropped this off here? Do you, hear, do you hear any ticking? No. Okay. All right, let's go, um, uh, go for it. <laughs> oh, it's a letter? Yeah. Addressed to us? Danny and AJ. I write this letter to you with the utmost importance. The box sitting before you contains incriminating evidence regarding that of the early 2000s hit MMO by Walt Disney Company, Toontown. Okay. I'm leaving this information in your credible hands. If you wish to disclose the contents of this box to the public, that is your own choice but please watch at your own risk. Good luck, a friendly stranger. Watch. A friendly stranger? What kind of friendly stranger would leave a box that says do not open at your door? What does he mean watch though? Oh my God. It's a tape? The truth behind Toontown? Huh. Do you still have your VHS player? Yeah, I do. I think we should put this in. All right, let's go. Let's watch it. <sighs> All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. I tell you, man, I'm really nervous. What if this ruins the game for us? Nothing could do that. Let's do this. Together. Together. Disney's Toontown Online. You may know it as the early 2000s hit MMO by Walt Disney Company with hit characters like Skippy, Mickey Mouse, Cat, and Bonzo Bilge Pump. All seems well and happy in Toontown, but there was a dark history in the underbelly that ass doesn't want you to know. Today, we'll be exposing the nefarious in-game lore of Disney's Toontown Online. In 19... A small section of neighborhoods were discovered in a previously uncharted land. The settle this settlement was made up of five neighborhoods, all governed by the landowner. Tunarius Algiri Shaboing Boing Builders Town. For many years, all was good. Tunarius Algiri Shaboing Boing Builders Town ruled unjust, um, justly and fairly, but as all ink dries, so did Tunarius Algiri Shaboing Boing Builders Town. 
a new ruler would need to be appointed if the neighborhoods were to prosper. Survive. Anaheim, California. It is autumn. Junior Governor Ricky Ratt has been subpoenaed for embezzling government funds. One of the largest scandals in California history. Ricky and his new fiance are looking to skip town. They need to lay low somewhere off the grid. Word is that old college roommate Tunarius Algirisha Boing Boing Builders Town has it pretty good in his new settlement. He would have to leave Ricky behind and assume the mantle of Mickey Mouse. On his deathbed, Tunarius Algiri Shaboing Boing Builders Town appointed Mickey his immediate successor. After Tunarius Algiri Shaboing Boing Builder Town's death, Mickey's first official decree is to rename the settlement in his honor, calling it Toontown, and subsequently dubbing all of its citizens Toons. Under Mickey's new reign, Toontown prospered. New establishments were now popping up everywhere, with shopkeepers now requiring citizens to run various errands. The task act of it was officially signed. Under the task act, all tunes were now required to abide by shopkeepers' requests, but in return will receive the new currency known as jelly beans. Currency means more profits and more spending. Playgrounds, banks, pet stores, libraries, schools, and various other facilities of commonwealth have begun to expand. But not all would remain happy in this land. One fateful day, a robot nemesis known to the tunes as the Cogs began to invade their streets. Mickey encourages his citizens to fight back against these ne'er-do-wells. Ammunition shops open in all playgrounds known to the public as gag shops. And Mickey's right-hand man, Goofy, would be put in charge of the arms cache. Goofy's gag shop was now a premier site for all tunes to spend their new beans. This became a new normal that the tunes began to accept. But underneath it all, no one could have guessed who was behind their seamlessly never-ending battle against their new nemesis. The Almighty Shadow Syndicate also known as ASS, is a secret society ruling the underbelly of Toontown. It's speculated that its members are secretive, high-ranking officials within the Toontown government. Five key figureheads are predicted to be running the Toontown underworld, yet their identities remain unknown but are speculated as follows. Arms dealer. Known to be involved in a number of high-risk weapons rings, smuggling illegal gags into the community and selling to the highest bidder. Tactical military expert. High kill count. This figure is said to lead an army of highly trained Toon Assassins. The Socialite. Owner of multiple jazz clubs and speakeasies. A very public figure, well liked by the community. This figure uses their innocent stature to subdue the public. Not much is known about this figure but it's suspected this figure was banished to the outskirts of the Toontown Tundra. 
and the leader of ass. High charisma, high intelligence, high pants. You may be curious as to what, who, may you may be curious as to who these members of ass may be. But to understand ass, you must first become familiar with the five neighborhoods of Toontown and its various settlements. Goofy Speedway. As an adjacent settlement to the capital of Toontown, Goofy Speedway was one of the final landmarks erected in Toontown. Its owner and operator, Goofy, thrived in the hustle and bustle of fast-paced car races. But not all is as it seemed. It is known that Goofy has monopolized the gag industry. His earnings from the gag shops in every neighborhood has made him enough money that he can open the Speedway. This has now created a second source of income for Goofy Cor Second? Second source of income. What is, is there? Is there actually money coming in through Goofy Speedway? There's never anyone there. It's always empty. No one is ever racing cars. And how the hell are they even supposed to keep up with all of the demands of all of the things that they say that they offer? They got spare parts, oil changes, employees. That place has fucking employees. I never see anyone there. It is always empty and then whenever there is someone there and you want to try and race and they already put their car down you try and put your car down and then they immediately get up and leave and then they, and then they run away there's no way you can get any money from that bike after these discoveries it is speculated that goofy is the arms dealer of ass Minnie's melody land glamour fashion Deceit. Death. During the Prohibition days, Minnie's Melody Land became an unlawful epicenter for crime, sex, and debauchery. This anti-union territory depicts a lawless landscape. Thousands of tunes come here daily to get their fix. You can get anything you need. Cream pies, hip uh, hip hypno goggles, bl black tar heroin, and if you're lucky, you could get a chance to. You could, if you're lucky, you could get a dance on the street. The mayor of this town, being Minnie, a well liked figurehead, puts her in the perfect position to be a dangerous member of ass. Donald's Dock. As the main source of imports and exports in Toontown, Donald's Dock is known to be heavily polluted, especially around the lake and the playground. Why would that be? Because of the 24-7 non-stop boat ride service offered in the playground. Sickening. Donald is nowhere to be seen as his metropolis grows wretched and pitiful. Finding no sorrow in polluting the lands that he has established, Donald grows disenchanted and uninterested in maintaining the glory of the lake. Daisy Gardens. What the hell are they growing in there? The Berg. Toontown's coldest peninsula. For many cycles, the burr remains frozen, never to fall. Only the most hardened of tunes dare to attempt to survive here. It is believed that here resides the fabled, exiled member of Ast, Pluto. The almighty Shadow Syndicate became impatient with Pluto's relaxed ruling nature, he was pushed out of his original residence in the gardens. He will forever wander the frozen tundra of the burr. Over time, 
the harsh environment took its toll on Pluto, freezing his talk voice box and rendering him speechless. Any attempt to reach out to him for further comment on ass was met with silence. Cold silence. After Pluto's exile, Daisy took his spot in the gardens as well as head of she was in the Toon Council. Donald's Dreamland. Dreamland was the site of the bloodiest battle during the Toontown Civil War, and after the bloodshed was deemed a demilitarized zone that went unchecked and unkept for years following the battle. When the Cogs started to appear, they took advantage of the then empty plot and decided to use the vacant neighborhood as their first official headquarters. A meeting took place at Toon Hall between the five neighborhood leaders as to prepare a plan of action. But Donald, being a ferocious leader, led a resistance group led a resistance group behind the backs of the other leaders and took back control of the once neutral site. The leaders were not pleased with this action as lives of other tunes were put at stake, save for Mickey, who saw this reckless act as a commandment of leadership. Donald was therefore given the territory as a token of appreciation, after which Donald fully established Dreamland, the final neighborhood. With all of this information, it is safe to assume that a tactical weapon such as Donald is the military expert of ass. And now that leaves the Toontown capital, Toontown Central. Everyone is familiar with Toontown's elected mayor, Flippy. He is known to be a just and fair leader of the Toontown committee. But is his position in government one of truth? Slippy rules under the close eye of Governor Mickey. So closely, in fact, that there is discourse as to whether or not Blippi is even fully in control of Toontown Central. Mickey is believed to have governed from the shadows. Wait. The shadows. Oh my god. It's all connected. The cogs. They were created by ass. The corrupt society created the COGS as an artificial distraction to keep citizens occupied as to not take notice of the internal corruption happening in their own government. There is a real currency in Toontown, but it's all funneled back to Mickey while they manufacture fake beans to corner their own market by building up a good reputation with the tunes and their beans. But that's only because the beans are laced with an aroma to keep the tunes happy and good capitalist pigs. The playground is shaped like Mickey's head. What about visible ink? There's a tune, but not. Did Mickey kill Trunarius Algeria Shaboyan Boy Builders Town to take his throne? Ash has always been silencing their enemies. Pluto tried to warn us, and he was silenced. They locked tunes away inside unopenable doors on the streets, forced to tell knock knock jokes to whoever decides to come and knock on the door. What? What was that? Toontown. Oh, God. Thank you guys for watching this. Yeah, man. Please check out our other stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be doing more stuff soon. Releasing some new stuff. Also, you can head to our second channel, The World of Sour Pack, to watch a behind the scenes video about how we filmed this one. Be on the lookout for new videos soon. We are working on a bunch. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks so much. Thank you. We love you.